This final tutorial discusses sharing and publishing your paralegal portfolio. This is one of the more disappointing changes as Google has taken away some options that allowed you to just share it with individuals while still keeping it private and keeping it under your control. You can still accomplish much of that, but if you want to be able to use your portfolio and share it with an employer, you're going to have to publish it and make it public. To begin with, everything you do is private to you and you're the only person that can access it. Uh, one of the good features of the new Google portfolios is it allows you to share it with another person within your team and work area or share it with a collaborator and you can both work on it in real time and the changes will appear in real time. To share your portfolio, come up to the upper right hand corner and click on the Add Editors. From this point, you can get a link that would allow an editor to access your portfolio and you can email that to the person or otherwise transmit it to them. But before you do that, it's not going to work unless, it, or if you do send them the link without making other changes, they're going to get a message asking, telling them that they will need permission uh, from you before they can access the site. So if you want to send it out to a collaborator and want it to go glitch free, first thing you have to do is click on change and select either anyone at JCC can find an access and that will allow anyone signing in with their Stu mail account to work on it or the really safe option is click and select anyone with the link can edit. Now again, this is one of the changes they used to have is that instead of just being able to edit, you could let anyone with the link view. But now we're left to just letting someone uh, edit under the collaboration tool. So I'm going to go ahead and save these changes. And so now anyone that I share this link with will be able to view and edit uh, the portfolio. An additional way of of sharing the portfolio with someone is to add their email address. So I'm going to add the email address for my regular JCC email and I can add a message and the message would be uh, please review and comment on my portfolio. As you can see you can add and send a copy to yourself if you want. Once I send this uh, my other email account will receive a message that will provide a link which I'll drag over and show you what it looks like where I can you sure yes are you sure you want to send this yes I do so now Jane Edelman's going to have access and and he shows up at any time that you want to you can remove uh, Jane Edelman's access so you probably heard that ding in the background I'm going to drag over uh, my email so now you can see the email that I received in my JCC account inviting me to uh, edit the portfolio. To do so, I can either click on that or click on open. Either one will do it. I'll go ahead and click on open. And then I'll drag over the page that opened uh, with the portfolio. So now I'm in as Jay Nadelman. Uh, looking at reviewing and editing this particular uh, portfolio. Because the name's the same, it's probably going to be a little bit confusing, but one is my Stu Mail address and the other is not my Stu Mail address. Once you're done, uh, you can close this. If I want to change, I can actually put my website out on the web. I don't recommend doing that until it's finalized and you're ready uh, to publish it, so I would never click this particular box and again you can remove access anytime you want to someone you've already shared it with and then uh, when you do share it if you want to can, can prevent whoever you've shared it with from being able to publish changing access or adding new people make sure that you click this box click Save Changes and now even though I've shared it with Jay Nadelman he can no longer uh, without my permission, publish it, change access, or add new people. So that adds a little extra level of protection for you. I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. And once you have your website so it's perfect, everything you want it to be, and you're ready to share it with a potential employer, you can go ahead and click on the Publish tab. And the Publish tab allows you to give 
a name to it. So my location is going to be stumail jcedu, and I'm going to call this uh, jmn paralegal portfolio. Keeping it as short as you can be best. And I have a choice in it. Who can visit my site? Anyone at Stumail, so this would be great. Uh, or um, if you want to make it available to someone like an employer, then you would need to make it available to anyone on the web. And then the final choice you have is allow my site to appear in search results, which if you're looking for a job and you're willing to let the entire world look at it, Go ahead and do that. If you want to target who's looking at your portfolio, I would leave that box unchecked. Once you're ready to go, go ahead and click Publish. And now, as you can see, my site has been successfully published. If I want to view it, I, oops, that went away a little too quickly, sorry. Um, if you change your mind about publishing, you can unpublish your website, or if you want to see your published website, click on View Published Website. I had to disable my pop-up blocker before it would allow the site to publish, but now you can see this is what my published homepage, published paralegal portfolio looks like. Uh, this is the desktop view because I'm on a desktop. So I'm on Home, Resume, Examples of my work, and this is a good time to remind you, and we'll get into this later when we talk about using Google Drive, but if you want to embed documents the way I have here and have people be able to actually view them and access them, then you need to set the permission either for each document or for the folder so that anyone with the link can view the document. Here's my classes taken, which is still a work in progress. And finally, pictures of our beautiful campus. So that concludes this tutorial of how to manage uh, your Google portfolio. If I want to once again unpublish it before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and click on unpublish. And now my site's unpublished and it's no longer available to anyone on the World Wide Web. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to assist you.